I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this Cisco certification five minute video practice exam on frame relay fundamentals, which also happens to be the title of one of my more popular free webinars. And I'll show you in just a moment on the board how you can register for those. You don't need any equipment, you don't need a headset, you don't need a credit card, just about 45 minutes of your time and a desire to get Cisco certified. We're going to go through the questions as we always do at a pretty fast clip, so if you need to pause the video for a moment, that's fine. And then we're going to take a look at the answers whenever possible here on real live Cisco routers and switches. Again, to learn more about the free webinars and everything else coming up at the Bryant Advantage, please visit the Bulldog blog out at thebryantadvantage.blogspot.com. We'll see you there. Now let's dive into question one here. Which of these cannot work properly when the broadcast option is left out of your frame relay map statement? So we've got pings and then we've got some hellos and update types there. Which ones can't work properly? Let's go to question two. Which of these four things will happen if you attempt to put a frame relay map statement on a point to point interface? Is it legal? Are you going to get an error message? Will it just not work? Or will routing protocol traffic not be carried? We'll see that live here in just a moment see what happens. Here's a classic though. What's the default encapsulation for a Cisco router serial interface? Got to know that one. What's that default NCAP type? And then finally question four. Which of these four statements accurately describes ISL? And as always, the questions in all of my exams are choose all that apply. Yeah, I know. Boo. But we got to know how to do that too. So let's go back to question one then and take a look. Which of these can't work properly if you leave the broadcast option off? Uh, your RIP updates, OSPF hellos, and EIGRP hellos. None of those are going to be carried if you leave that broadcast option off. Now a lot of times in my webinars I notice that some students think pings will not go through, but actually they will. Let me bring up the live pod here and just to show you what I've done with show frame map and we'll also talk about this dreaded uh, mapping to zero here in the webinar as well. But here notice that I've got an active frame relay mapping to 172.12.123.2 but you don't see the broadcast option in there. And also, if we did a quick show config, we would see that there is no broadcast option or broadcast word here at the end of the frame map statement. That's perfectly legal. The router let me put it on there, but I do want to point out to you that pings go through with no problem because pings are unicast, especially in this particular instance, I pinged one single address and that's going to go through with no problem. But your RIP updates, OSPF hellos, and EIGRP hellos are either going to be broadcast if you're RIP version 1 or anything else, they're going to be multicast. And that is included with that broadcast option. When you enable broadcast to be carried over frame, you're also enabling multicast at the same time. But your pings will go through. Now what happens if you try to put a frame map statement on a point-to-point -point interface? Let's go over to router 3 and take a look and we'll see if I saved my work here to show you in the config. And I did. You'll see what I've created here is a point-to-point -point serial interface. And I've got an IP address on it, but I haven't put or tried to put a frame map statement on it yet. You do have to put encapsulation frame relay and no frame relay inverse ARP if you're disabling that on the physical interface. But now we're going to go to the sub interface, which was 0.321. And what happens if I try to put a frame map statement here? The router will not allow you to do that. And you're going to get a message that tells you frame relay interface DELSI command should be used on point to point interfaces. So what we would need to do here instead and just use the proper DELSI and then you can go from there. But you will get an error message when you attempt to use a frame map statement on a point to point interface. Now I mentioned a moment ago we gotta have that NCAP frame relay command and I'll bring the router back up or routers and you can see 
encapsulation frame relay right there. The reason we do that is that we're changing it from the default of HDLC. That is the default on a Cisco router serial interface. And here, which one of these accurately describes ISL? Bit of a curveball here because ISL doesn't have anything to do with frame relay. It is a Cisco proprietary protocol that you need to be aware of for your NA and NP exams, but ISL is a trunking protocol. It's a Cisco proprietary trunking protocol, so that would be B, and it definitely adds some overhead. So C is false, and A and D are false as well. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this video. If you're watching on YouTube or one of the other video sharing sites that we're on, we've got literally over a dozen of these five-minute video practice exams, plus over 100 fully illustrated video tutorials for your Cisco certification. Server 2008 is on the way, including my on-demand webinars. And again, I invite, I invite you out to the main website, of course, thebryantadvantage.com. But on the Bulldog blog, we've got all kinds of great features coming up, including invitations to those free webinars. You just click a link, put in an email address at gotowebinar.com, and you're set. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and I'll see you at the webinars.